Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is Macloid gauge. So as you can see over here, this is a tube, okay, and here it is connected to a bulb and then again the tube that is measuring capillary and a scale which is common to both to this reference column and to the measuring capillary and here it is connected to the mercury reservoir and here it is a piston which is connected with this threaded screw so that the piston can be brought down or up so here the gas which is having that unknown pressure is fed from here and that that get trapped in this bulb and this measuring capillary okay so at that point the mercury at this cutoff level okay so once the gas is trapped over here then we know the volume of that particular gas because we know the volume of the bulb and we know the volume of this particular capillary tube okay so then the mercury start rising in both this bulb as well as this reference tube when mercury reaches this point okay which is also called as a reference point okay then at that particular point here this gas also gets compressed then height is taken from the scale which is the difference okay between the mercury level and the level of this mercury in this capillary tube so then here as you can see over here this space here there is gas which is compressed and we know the volume of this gas because we know the volume okay or we know the area of the capillary tube and we know the height now so we can find the volume of this particular trapped gas and with the help of this height we can calculate the pressure p2 okay so we know the volume v1 because we know the volume of bulb as well as the capillary tube of the gas which is earlier trapped when we feed the gas from here okay so then later on when the mercury is filled then we know the pressure with the help of this height and we know the volume of this particular section with that we can find the pressure of the gas earlier which was unknown so let us see the calculation okay so v1 is the initial volume of the gas trapped v2 is the volume of the gas when the mercury reaches up to zero level in the reference level so v2 is equal to a into h because this capillary is having area as a then with this height then it will be a into h the volume v2 p1 is the pressure of the gas which is to be determined p2 is the compressed gas pressure which is p1 the initial pressure plus h which you got from this scale okay then since this gas follows boyle's law p1 into v1 is equal to p2 v2 then we know p2 is equal to p1 plus h and v2 is a into h so when we solve this finally we get p1 is equal to a h square upon v1 minus a h if this a h is very very less than v1 then we can say that p1 is equal to a h square upon v1 so this is macloid gauge which is used to measure the pressure where the pressure is very low okay for the gases okay so hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye